uh, God say the people left all of his commandments like it was in the first Babylon. See, in the first Babylon, the people left all of God's commandments. This Babylon, it's the same thing. You know. This is why all this thing that's going on now, like at the border of Mexico and the United States, all those people coming from all down Central America, they're going to take over the white people. But the white people don't know that, see, because they don't read God's word. God using those other nations to come over here to take over them and punish them because they left all of God's commandment. They promote same-sex marriage, homosexual, sexuality, transgender, all this stuff, adultery, fornication, lying, corruption. See, we have everything now. They left all of God's commandment. And they wonder why these things are happening in the world filled with violence. You know, that's why Jesus Christ said the world will be filled with violence, like in the days of Noah. You see all these things starting to happen right now. You know, this is what I'm trying to tell the white people. They're going to be feared for their life after a while because there's going to be war over here, you know. Then the white people, like I said before, I said it many times, they are from Jacob's seed, you know. You know, God had give them the law and stuff for them, to, for them to follow and to obey the Lord. But they fell away from the law of God the commandments of God. You know, like I said, if they promote homosexuality, you see what God did, he came down himself of Sodom and Gomorrah, and he talked with Abraham. He told Abraham he could find 50, he would save the city, when I think he went all the way down to 10. But he couldn't find even 10 people that was righteous. You know, that's why he destroyed it. But like in uh, Second King in chapter 17 and verse 16, see what the Lord says? And they left all the commandment. See, they left all the commandment. See, they left all of the commandments of God. I'm going to read it for you. And say, and they left all the commandments of the Lord their God and made them molten image even two calves and made a grove and worship all the host of heaven and serve them see that's what they are doing now see they left all of God's command see you can't find the people that obey and keep in God's commandments anymore. You know. People don't left all of God's commandments. They're promoting all kind of evil invention and all kind of stuff. You know. It's like what he talked about in Leviticus. All oh, that's for our time, for the end time. God said you're punish them seven times more. You know, for their iniquity, for their sins. Now you can turn to like Leviticus. I'm just giving you some of the stuff what God says in His Word. Like in Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 27, it says, And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me. See, that's what they are doing now, walking contrary unto the Lord. They don't want to hear God's commandment. They don't want to have God in their knowledge no more. Verse 28 said, Then when I walk contrary unto you also in fury, see, in anger, and I, and I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. See? Lord said, you 
chastised them seven times for their sins. Seven times more. Let us see. And ye shall eat the flesh, the flesh, excuse me, and saying, Ye shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters. Shall ye eat? See? They're going to be eating their own sons and their own daughters. See, after he put all those plagues on them, punished them, you know, famine, pestilence, all of them on them, and they still won't repent. But the Bible tells you that in Revelation. You know, I think it's in Revelation chapter 9. After all those plagues they put on them, they still didn't repent. You know, put famine, all that pestilence on them, they ain't going to repent still. See? And talking about his people, you know, and the church, you know, like what they see with the United States and Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, all that stuff. They're from like uh, Jacob's seed, you know, like, and like, uh, and like uh, Paris, you know, and all that different other countries too. But the one that come into my mind, you know, Britain, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada, and all that. If I'm Ephraim C, you know, Jacob C. And God is telling them to repent for their sin. That's why all those nations coming in, all those people from all different nations coming in their country, see, is to punish them for their sins. That's what a lot of people don't, can't see. They can't see it, but that's what it's all about. That's God's doing. You know, they're going to overtake the white people over here, all those other, other nations. You know, there will be famine, pestilence. There will be war here. That's what all that lead to, because people are not godly. You can't live together with different races, all different races, if, you, if you're ungodly. That's what a lot of people don't understand. See? But this is what I wanted to tell the white people, you know, because God going to punish, you know, for all the evilness, wickedness. The Bible say evil will go forth from nation to nation. But that's why all those people from all different nations is coming over here. They won't be able to stop it. And after Donald Trump is telling the truth, but they don't want to hear that because they are deceived. You know, when you are deceived, you don't want to listen. It's like a mad person. You try to explain things to a mad person, they don't want to hear it. You're like a drunk person. That's why the Bible says in Revelation, they're going to be mad, they're going to be drunk. First Babylon, you read, I think it was in Jeremiah 50 or 51, but they was mad. You know, in Revelation it said they were drunk, drunk with the wine of a fornication, drunk and a mad person, you can't tell them nothing. See. But this is this where we where we getting all these things getting to come to pass now. You can see all the things what the Lord says all coming to pass. You know, everything is not fulfilled yet. You know, like I said, we're just in the first and the second beast. There's a lot more yet to go. You know, it's gonna be a terrible time. Could be a never be a time lacking. See, that's what the Lord said. See, but I'm just showing you. You know. But what's coming to America? It's gonna be war over here, and famine, pestilence, everything is coming over here. You know, like I said, they're gonna take over the white people. You know, the white people are losing their authority right now. That's what I've been trying to tell them. You know, but they be thinking like I'm against them. I'm just trying to like when somebody trying to tell you something ahead of time. They be for you, they're not against you. It is warning you to, 
you know, to get right, you know, save yourself. Even though the rest might not want to save yourself, but you can. It's all up to you, you know. It's like in the days of when the apostle, they received Jesus Christ. And some of them didn't. And some of them afterward, the apostle spoke to them, they received him. It's just how it is. All of them want, but I'm mean, saying for those who want to, you know, they can seek the Lord while you may be fine. But but all that's going to come upon is going to come upon the world, famine, pestilence, everything. You know, God is dealing with the whole world. The churches is all around the world. His people is all in, in all those nations too, you know. But they have a lot of his people, like in the United States, you know, and, and Britain and, and stuff like that, and Canada and all that, like Australia, and New Zealand, you know. They've been ruling these nations, the white people, you know. Now the mother nation want to take over them, so they won't be ruling no more. You see, like China, they. China taking over their technology and all that stuff, and you have to pay attention. All that, you know. That's what I be saying. I be trying to show the white people what's happening to them. You know, like I said, all those people from all those other nations, like Central America and the other country and all that stuff, they all gonna be coming over here, and they gonna take over over here, over the white people. You know, and it's going to be violent over here, you know, war, you know, because the other nation don't live peaceful as the white people, because the white people was given the law of God, they live more peaceful, that's why all those nations be want to come over here. You don't see the people don't want to go to Africa, and they don't want to go to Mexico or other country. See what I'm saying? And they all want to come back to Europe, or Britain, and Australia, and New Zealand, and Canada, and all that stuff. All those nations that live peacefully, but they're going to bring all, everything violent in that nation because people can't get along with each other. They're not Christian. See, that's all I'm showing the white people. It were God chosen people, you know, but they fell away from God's word, you know. They, um, they're leaving all of God's commandments now, you know. They promote homosexual adultery. I remember there was a time that a boy would get a girl pregnant. We used to make that boy marry that girl, you know. That's what the Bible said, but they don't do that no more, you know. Tolerate homosexuality and all that stuff. They didn't do that back then, a long time ago. See, but now they want to pass law and made it, Supreme Court passed law and made it legal to marry and all that stuff. See, they done fell away from God's word. That's what I'm showing y'all. You know, most of them don't know God's word. They don't want to read the Bible. They don't want to read God's word. But everything is right in the Bible. God tell you what's going to happen to you if you turn away from him. That's all I'm showing you. It's not my saying. This is what God says. You can read Leviticus chapter 26. God is telling you in Deuteronomy chapter 28. You know, as for our day and time, that for the, day of the first Babylon that happened to and then that will happen, history already repeat itself. And God said, you're going to punish the world for their sin. And Jerusalem going to go into captivity. I mean, here in prophets, some of the prophets said Jerusalem will not go into captivity. But it's not true. You know, God's word is true. Jerusalem will go into captivity. It could be a short length of time, and three and a half years this time. The first Babylon was 70 years. God said you got to punish everybody for their sin, punish the nation for their sin. All those nations that fell into sin, even will go forth from nation to nation. 
That's all I wanted to bring to y'all today. Thank y'all. And may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Standing of his word. Let's read Leviticus chapter 26. And read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. And read Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39. That's why God tell you why his people went into captivity in chapter 39. It tells you why they went into captivity because of their sin, their iniquity. You know. Because everybody know Ezekiel 38 and 39 is dealing with the end time. And God tell you why they went into captivity. It's like Jerusalem. They were going into captivity. God tell you why. Because of their iniquity, their sins. Now thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom.